Welcome back to another Trade Alt 3 Commas tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the Smart Trade feature and when you might want to consider using it instead of one of the many different trading bots that 3 Commas offers. For those of you who are new to 3 Commas, there will be a link in the description of this video where you can create a new account and save 10% off your monthly subscription fee. So here is Smart Trade on 3 Commas, and you can find it at 3commas.io. Navigate to your smart trading section over here and click on the smart trade tab and this should take you right to this page. So starting at the top, basically you have these toggles over here that turn things on and off. Okay, so if you don't want certain things to be here, all you have to do is turn them on or turn them on, turn them off and you can see it gets rid of them, populates it. So I think that these are really helpful, obviously, to kind of declutter this if you find this kind of too busy or there's certain things that you don't use. Um, but you know just kind of starting up here again so here's your exchange this is every exchange that is that you have linked via api um every exchange that you have linked via api is going to be here right so for you to be able to trade off of so you click this drop down it's going to list every single exchange that you have the market tab is going to be over here basically if you're familiar with trading bots this is going to be the quote side of the pair um, basically what you're using to enter the trade, right? So whether you're trading with USD, USDT, whether you're trading Bitcoin pairs, whatever it is, but this is the market side. And then your trading pair specifically is going to be the altcoin that you're going to pick, right? So if you're going to be trading altcoins, um, every altcoin that's available on this exchange that you select here will populate here. And again, if you switch exchanges, it's going to populate whatever um, pairs are available for you to trade um, that, are USD, or that are USD pairs. So it's very helpful and it's nothing you have to, again, it's auto, automatically populates. So you don't have to wonder if that pair is available on that exchange, it will automatically do it for you. This section below here is that says trading pairs, basically these signals here. So again, turning them on and off. And these are trading view signals, basically giving you an idea here. Um, if trading view deems this to be a buy or a sell meeting, you know, if you're looking at your technical analysis and you're looking at considering entering a trade, this can maybe give you a little bit of insight um, as to which side of the trade you might want to be on. So for myself, I don't use this, um, but if you did want to use it, it is here. And uh, again, this is where you're going to find it. Scroll down here a bit. So here is Trading View, which is really neat that they actually have this built into the Smart Trade platform. I think that's really cool. And as you can see, you can use indicators. So there's a whole suite of indicators that are built in here. Um, that you can populate again you want to click on this you see that it just populates it right away and you could literally do all of your technical analysis here um, on smart trade tab which i think is really neat because you can enter and exit trades obviously um, from here which we're going to get into in just a second turn that off just for a minute delete that but just kind of show you like how customizable that is i think it's really cool to the right here you have your order book and again, this order book is going to be pair specific um, to the exchange that you selected, right? So this is literally going to be this altcoin on Binance US. That is the order book that you're going to be looking at right there. So it's very helpful to know, um, you know, depending on what order type you're using. So if you're using a limit order or a market order, it gives you an idea of kind of like the order book depth as well on how your um, entry could affect basically like again type of order you might want to use or how it's going to affect um, your entry scroll down a little bit more and here we have basically this is like an incredible section here this is the most the, to me this is the the best part of the whole thing where you have something as basic as buying and selling so every exchange is going to have this you're going to have a buy side where you place in you know how many um how many of of the altcoin you want to buy how much you want to you know dollar amount etc etc come over to the sell side if you have that particular alt um this is where you go in to sell it and it's very simple limit our market nothing really to it um but where three commas really separates itself is in these next four tabs here so go over to smart trade and smart trade what's really neat about this is if you have specifically and like where i think that this comes into play is if you have a trade setup and what i mean by a trade setup is if you're looking for a specific if you have a very specific entry in mind 
you have a stop loss or invalidation, which I think is very important when it comes to trading. Um, you know, obviously having good risk management. And then also if you have specific take profits in mind, this is a great interface for you to use. So basically here on the left side, you can put your entire trade together where you have, again, you're gonna put how much of the altcoin you wanna buy. You can use whether you wanna use a limited market order or even a conditional order. Um, and then once you have that squared away, then you can come to these next two tabs if you want to use it. So these are optional, but I think, again, this is the point of wanting to use this. Um, so basically coming to your set profit, right? So let's say that we already have it here. So we're gonna buy $10,000 worth of this altcoin. You can literally come in here um, so let's say that we wanted to set a limit price. That way we can kind of just set this up. So let's just say $70. I'm just making this up. If you scroll up, you can see where your buy is going to be. So you see how it automatically populated that as $17. Bucks? All right. So you come back down. Now you can set your take profits. So let's say that $18.70 was going to be your first take profit. Well, the interesting thing about that, that is literally a 10% gain, right? So that's kind of cool. So if you wanted to exit your full position there, all you would do is, sorry, but that I was wrong. You literally just leave that here at 10%. Now you can see the slider. So if you wanted specific targets, like percentage wise, for some reason, if you're like, listen, I'm going to get in here and I'm not going to sell until we're 50%. I'll get a 50% gain out of this. Well, you can just type in 50 and then it tells you that you would want to place your limit order here at $25.50. So that's what it would take. Um, but anyway, so if you wanted to go back, let's just pick something else. Let's pick $20. Tells you that it's a 17.64% gain. That's what you would be looking at. So again, $17 entry. If you're looking to exit at $20, that's the gain that you would get. But let's say that you want multiple take profits. So this is where it's really cool. You can actually split your target. And then it's going to ask you here volume wise, right? So like, let's say you wanted to take 50% of your trade off at this first take profit. You will literally type in 50 here, 50%, and you click add take profit. And then you can see that it actually goes ahead. And it, keep in mind, we haven't even put this in, into the order books yet, right? You're literally setting up the entire trade. And then you wanted another take profit. Um, let's say that price would, you wanted to sell at $25. And you can see that would be a 47% gain. And you just wanted to put the, the second half of your um, of your trade to exit at that point, then you would hit add take profit. And then it adds up to 100%, obviously. Otherwise, it would, if you pick like 25%, then it will actually ask you again. And I believe you can do up to four take profits. So that's really neat. Scroll over to here. So again, we have everything accounted for. You want to set your stop loss, click on set stop loss. So first off, you scroll up, you can see your take profit one literally at $20 tells you exactly how many to. And you scroll down or, you know, minimize it a little bit and you can see your second take profit there. So you're building your trade setup. Stop loss. You can use conditional limit, conditional market, whatever you want. Let's say you want your stop loss. I'll just leave it here at $16.32, which would be a loss of 4% if that was hit. Your stop loss is already going to be built in. So let's say that this is what you want your trade setup to look like. All you do is create trade and it will do all the work for you. It'll literally populate, it'll literally set your limit order the amount that you want and once that fills it'll set your cells and your stop loss automatically so which is really awesome now one thing that i think is just incredible so obviously you have a trailing stop loss you could toggle that um you could toggle a, a trailing take profit for the last target there which is really cool the probably the best feature on here, in my opinion, is this. It's moved to break even. And this requires, if you read the text here, it requires at least two take profits. So move to break even. Why would you want to do that? Well, it's part of risk management, right? Again, everybody has different trading styles. But for me, I love that three commas has this built in um, because it obviously helps you automatically manage your trade and get you risk free, right? So let's say hypothetically, you got your fill at $17, price moves up to $20 and takes you out of your position. Okay, so the 50% of your trade is exit and profit. If you have this toggled, what happens is as soon as this order fills and your take profit one is hit, 
then your stop loss, you see that you have it set here at $16.30. What will happen is your stop loss will automatically at that point move to $17. And what that does is it allows you to take partial profit, right? So you hit take profit on your position. Moving this to break even allows you to create a risk-free environment. Well, basically you've secured your take profit one, your stop loss has moved to break even, so you cannot lose money on that trade. So again, everybody has different trading styles, but I find it very powerful. And in my Discord, where we talk a, a ton about trading, um, it's definitely something that I really speak highly of um, with my group because I think it's really smart. And it's it's a tough, you know, it, it's some one of those things that you can't argue with profit, right? Especially when it's hit, you, you move your stop loss to break even and you're able to walk away from that trade and whatever happens, happens, right? Either you hit the rest of your take profits or your stop loss gets hit, but no matter what, you walk away in profit. So that is the smart trade feature on three commas. And I think that's really cool. These other ones, smart sell, these are all, these are also very, very useful. Um, but I'm gonna cover these in depth in a separate video. And I'll probably come back and revisit smart trade and probably do some actual trade like examples on here. Um, just again, to kind of reinforce what we went over here. But let's talk very briefly about when you might want to use Smart Trade versus using a, a trading bot, for example, or one of the other awesome bots that Three Commas has. First of all, I think it's really important that you have a defined trade setup, right? So again, like I spoke about earlier, if you have a specific entry, you have a specific stop loss or invalidation in mind, and you have specific take profit levels, I think you definitely would... Um, be better off using a smart trade and it's going to make trading a lot easier if you have an undefined setup so if you're thinking okay well i'm not entirely sure which levels i want to be buying or selling um, i know that i want to be involved in this asset somehow or this altcoin somehow um, then maybe it's better to use a bot so like a dca bot a dollar cost average bot for example uh, which you can also find here under trading bots you just click on dca bot and you can go ahead and create those the majority of the content I've done for three commas is all based on, on DCA bot. So if you're not sure what that is, you can check out my other videos. And then another example um, where you might want to use a bot is again, it, it comes back to not having a well-defined set a trade setup, but maybe there's a well-defined range, for example. And if you have a well-defined range, perhaps I would say you might want to consider using a grid bot. So instead of creating a specific trade setup, which is still an option if you're range trading or you have, you know, again, if you have a, you don't have an undefined setup, then if you're, if you're recognizing that something is trading within a range, I think a grid bot is um, very appropriate to use that to trade instead of using smart trade. So that will wrap it up for this video on three commas smart trade. For those of you looking to start your three commas journey, click on the link in the description of the video. With that being said, trade safe out there. We'll see you on the next one.